my name is Livia and today I'm going to teach you how to do a back walkover. If you don't know how to do a back bend yet, then I suggest you go to my back bend tutorial and learn how to do that first because you need to know how to do a back bend before you can do a back walkover. The link to the video is below. Let's get started. We are first just going to begin by stretching our backs. If you don't feel that your back is stretched enough with these stretches, I have two back stretching videos that you can check out. First, we're going to learn to kick over. This is your prep for when you do. The foot that's pointed will go in the air first and help swing your body, but the key is that flat foot for which you will push off with much power. Begin by kicking off a raised platform using those tips and once you get the hang of it, switch to a lower platform and eventually starting from the ground. As I kick over, I like to tilt my head because it provides me a bit of momentum. You're going to start out by looking at the ground, but then once you kick off, start looking forward. I am better with everything on my right side, so my right leg will be the pointed foot going up first and it will land first. my back walkover, the three most helpful things were kicking over on a bed, the tips I'm sharing with you, and having someone spot you. I don't have my little sister here with me today, so I'm just telling you, have someone spot you because it is extremely helpful, especially if you're a beginner, it gives you a feel for how it should go. Let's get on with the video. Once you've mastered going into a back bend and kicking over, you can begin working on your back walkover. Now you can use a pillow if you're afraid you will land on your head, but you can prevent that by keeping your arms straight. Do not bend them whatsoever or you will collapse. I highly suggest you work on a soft surface. You need to think of your back walkover as one motion, no stopping in between. Also, for the leg that is going up in the air first, I recommend keeping it halfway up to begin with because it makes doing your back walkover a lot easier. You have to get over the fear of falling backwards and know that you will collapse sometimes, but what's important is that you pick yourself back up and keep trying. That moment when you rise from your failures is when you truly grow and improve. Please share below your results if this video helped. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram to see cool flexibility inspired pictures and photography and that kind of stuff. And you can direct message me your flexibility progress. And follow me on my Twitter to stay updated and on my Snapchat. And you can participate in the daily challenges on my Snapchat where basically I do some flexibility or fitness trick and you guys can do it too. And I share tips to help you succeed in that trick. New video every Saturday and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.